honest, honest, honest YouTube. Happy now, all is now. It's a gift to be in a present. Fresh say sun and back in here. You are now tuning into the mind of an algin and moon. First stage, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness, okay? So, Horus is transiting the ninth house in the sky as I make this video. So, this is going to be my continuation on Jupiter, okay? It's going to be my continuation of uh, Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter in Leo, okay? So, my last video was Jupiter in Cancer, so... This is Jupiter and Leo, okay? So next, okay, so that's just Cancer. So it's Cancer right here, boom. And Leo, you see the line? That's Leo, okay? So this is the fifth space in the sky. Fifth space in the sky, okay? With uh, Leo, what's the sun? Leo's being ruled by the sun, okay? but the fifth space in the sky, okay? So the fifth space, okay, AKA fifth house is dealing with creativity, is dealing with fun, is dealing with enjoyment, is dealing with children, okay? Fun, enjoyment, children, what you entertain, what you're entertained by, and yeah, what you choose to entertain, what you're entertained by, and yeah, what well, just what you're entertained by and what yeah, what entertains you. Okay, so yes, it's a uh, so Jupiter and Leo. Okay, so let's look at that. So this is the modality is fixed. Okay, so the modality of Leo is fixed. Okay, so fixed fire, fixed fire. Okay, so and what's Jupiter dealing with? Okay, so Jupiter's dealing with knowledge. Wisdom, experiences, okay? Because you can't have wisdom without your experiences, okay? You have to have some sort of experience to have knowledge on something, okay? So, with Jupiter and Leo, okay? So, looking at this, you know, you're someone who is most definitely going to have knowledge and wisdom in the realms of entertainment, okay? So, um, yeah. Any, any form of entertainment, you know, any form of entertainment, you know, you have, you have Jupiter here, you know, you want to expand in this entertaining realm, okay? So, yeah, it could be, yeah, because it really depends on the spirit, because I could say, oh, when we hear entertainment, we probably think in music, you know? only music but no i mean they have like circuses that's seen as entertainment Look, looking at the lion you know they have even have you know lions you know and what's it called the zoos you know that if you ever been to a zoo and you see like a show with lions that could be entertain entertaining you know so it's just like yeah fun and enjoyment you know, you're someone who, you know, have the necessary experiences, have gone through the necessary experiences to be able to, you know, be seen as someone that is, you know, entertaining. You know, you have the knowledge and wisdom to entertain things. Okay? So... And yeah, it depends on, you know, your your sun sign, you know, and how this this uh, this Jupiter placement can be seen. You know, your, your sun, moon, ascendant, you know, your, uh, yeah, just truly depending on that, you know. So, for example, let's say you got, let's say you have a Leo sun sign and your Jupiter is in Leo, you know. So, most definitely, it's like fire, fire, you know. Jupiter having that sun influence, your Jupiter having that sun influence, you know, that's like fiery entertainment, you know, and it's being played out from, let's say, your fiery sun of fixed fire as well. So it's just like, you know, so could come off as someone who has a big ego. And like I say, you know, the ego is just the ego that I that you show your 
your sun sign, you know? So if you've got that double Leo like that, you know, you're someone who's got like, yeah, could, could be perceived as someone who has a huge ego. And, you know, on my channel, the ego is just the eagle, AKA my ego, my ego that I'm showing you now is Sagittarius. That's my ego, okay? So, yeah. Um, yeah, this Jupiter placement is like, yeah, you're someone that people look to, you know, depending on the department of enter entertainment you're in. Let's just use music now. Let's just say, you know, you're in the music department. You know, you're someone with the Jupiter and Leo and you find that to be your realm of entertainment and what you choose to entertain. You know, you're, you're someone who will attract uh, people. You know, you're, you're someone who will attract people, you know, uh, in this realm of uh, music. You know, when people see you as a... Uh, uh, someone who is most definitely has that knowledge and wisdom on on that in that music department but like looking at this now i can almost even guarantee i don't i'm not even the type to look up many you know artists and their their uh what's it called placements but most definitely, you know, looking at this, you know, most artists will have, you know, not most, but if you're looking at, let's look at, if you're going to look at artists or let's say musicians, a well-known musician, someone who's, yeah, well, you know, experienced in this field, will most definitely have this placement, you know? So, yeah. Jupiter, Jupiter and Leo, you know, so it's like, you're just your, your, your entertainment and you can not only dealing with, you know, so it's like, it's how you learning and this is how you're teaching as well. So you could come off someone who is teaching in a, let's say, fun way as well. You, you could have like the, yeah, your way of teaching could come off as, you know, fun and entertaining, you know, you know, teaching in a Leo like way. You know, like, it's sort of like, yeah, teaching in a Leo-like way, in a fun, entertaining type way, you know? And you could even find uh, learning and the knowledge and wisdom you accumulate to be fun. You know, you could even, yeah, you can find, like, learning could be fun for you. Yeah, because Jupiter is also de dealing with learning, education, so that you're... Your education or whatever you're learning could be fun. You know, you could find, you know, just depending on the spirit, you know, your frequency vibration and what, where you are traveling, you know, in the astral realms and what you're vibrating with, your state of being, you know, and only you know your state of being, you know, only you know where you're traveling, only you know where your spirit is, okay? You know, so it's just the resonation. Another language of the universe is resonation. So whatever you're resonating with, you know, this is where your energy will go towards, okay? So, yeah. So, yeah, this is Leo. Let's see what else I got for this placement. You know, so because I don't, I don't want to just feel like I have more, you know, because there's a lot more than music, okay? So Jupiter, you know, we're in this area, you know, Horus is transiting the ninth house, you know, so this is where Jupiter gets born from, okay? Or, or Sagittarius, my bad. And Sagittarius has that uh, Jupiter influence. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, you know? So you could technically say, like, my sun sign, you know, if I want to even be truly teaching something, like, truly when I want to speak something on spirituality you know i really could come on at, at this time you know truly when horus is transiting this area of the sky okay so from a left brain perspective we'll say oh it is nine but from a right brain perspective you know and correlating it with the stars because you know i don't turn star man into a man i'm going to say <laughs> Horus is transiting the ninth house because 
this is what we were doing. If you're talking about, if you want to talk past, future, it's all now. Past, future, all now. And, you know, just looking up at the stars, looking up at the sky, you know, it's truly where everything is at. You have to look up, okay? Look up as above, so below. As above, so below. As within, so without, okay? So, yeah, and this is how, you know, I'm able to truly just do anything with astrology, you know, because, yeah, once you go within, you know, and you, you, you have that, let's say, true intention to connect to that higher self within, you know, that's all, that's where truly where all that power is at, you know, it's, it's, it's connect to that spirit, you know, your, the spirit is, you know, not outside of you you know you are an individual spirit okay so it's just like and that's that's a recapitulation that's a reiteration you know and it's like you know with my energies and you know me being triple fire and just seeing me you know just putting out my perception in the world you know that's truly what that's the reiteration that's 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 what you know that's truly where everyone's ending at you go within you connect to the higher self within and you know you allow your your divinity to be shown you know you allow your spirit to speak through you you do not identify with this anymore like every time i turn on this camera right I set my intention on the video I want to make and I just channel spirit. That's what I do. Okay? I'm, I, you know, I, I look at the, the stars and I, I go up, you know, and it's just like that simple, you know? So, yeah. First day signing out. Catch you next now.